get let's get to investing. Um, so you know, this week in the news, obviously this past week was the whole GameStop, Wall Street bets, short sell fiasco, and then a couple of days ago you have Elon Musk and, who and Tesla invest 1.5 billion dollars into Bitcoin. So I know you've been very clear just now that uh, you're you're a big fan of Bitcoin. I actually saw your interview with Raul Paul, and he's the guy that got you kind of over the hump on Bitcoin. And obviously you're a big advocate of commodities like gold and silver. So let's let's talk to the young Americans out there in their 20s or 30s who have not started investing yet for whatever reason. And let's say they've saved up some money. They have an emergency fund. You know, they got a little cushion. And let's say they have $10,000 to get started investing. Robert, where do you recommend they start first when it comes to investing? I always recommend investing your head and your brain. That's why I have tremendous respect for what Patrick, Bet, Dave, and you guys have done. You're, you're taking education from real teachers. The trouble with academics is they're fakes. Just like GameStop is a fake asset. But you look at, they tried, you know, the, the uh, Reddit guys, God bless them, and the, who the other guys, Robin Hoods. Yep. <laughs> they, they tried to mess with silver. The trouble with silver, silver is a real asset. GameStop's a fake asset. Mm -hmm. So messing with silver, the richest guys on earth use silver. Nobody wants GameStop. GameStop, I don't know what it's called. Game right. But Why anyway, do the richest guys on, on earth uh, utilize silver or gold in that? In, in, silver. In that, in that. Okay, why silver? Silver is an industrial metal. It's used, you know, it's going to be used at the Green New Deal. Tesla is going to use it in batteries. Uh, it's medical, water purification. Just study silver. I started saving silver in 1964 when I was 16 years old because I picked up a little dime and the dime had copper around the edge of it. That was the first time they were, they were faking money. And at that point, it was Gresham's Law. I, I'm 16 years old, I don't know anything, but I do know fake. I do know fake teachers and I do know fake money. This here is fake money. Mm -hmm. This is the US dollar in a few years. So, so, to, I'm, so uh, I'm just saying as, as young people, what did school teach you about money? Be a day trader? You well, know, be a Reddit not. trader? You gotta be crazy. So to piggyback on, on your point, obviously I agree with you 100% on the best investment is investing in yourself. Obviously Warren Buffett is famous for saying that, investing into your brain, investing into knowledge, investing in Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, and other books that we can talk about. But let's talk about like actual hard asset, asset allocation. Are you actually saying that young people, if they're going to start investing, may want to look into silver first and foremost? Is that what you're suggesting? Well, as you know, Bitcoin made the move with Elon. And gold is pretty stable right now because it is controlled by the biggest guys. Silver is used by industry. It's used in batteries, you know, Green New Deal's coming up and all this. And it's suppressed, you know, you know, you worked on Wall Street, it's a thousand percent manipulated. And so they, they're, all the shorts are holding down the price of silver because, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not the, if silver goes up, the business models of Apple, Toshiba, all, all the electronic companies blow out the window. So they've got to suppress the price of silver. Mm. But as you know, that can only last for so long. So I, you know, I, you don't have to go to college to save gold and silver. All I did was a kid, is I just put it in a bag and I, I would I would take a dollar, I'd go to 1964. I go to the bank and I take out like 10 bucks and I'd get a roll of dimes. And I'd go through the dimes and anything that had copper on it, I gave it back to the bank. And I kept them on with no copper in it. So I had a whole pile of silver. I was a rich kid, but nobody knew it because everybody thought the dime was a dime. It was fake dimes. Hmm. So it's just, you know, it's not that hard. It's just common sense. Gotcha. I'm writing, I'm, I'm taking notes, uh, by the way, Robert. I got silver with a big circle on it. Thank you for watching this short clip. If you want to see the full episode, check it out right here. And if you have not subscribed to Valuetainment, click right here.